Imagine that you get a mail on your smartphone, but you don't have to answer. The phone itself will answer the mail. Can you imagine? And it's not automatic reply, yeah? No, it's a true answer that the person who receives the answer will say, oh, nice answer. That's technology that may be technology of tomorrow. It's the story of the first speaker. But let's first watch his video just now. I'm Crystal. Don't be afraid. I'm here for you. Yes. I don't know her, but uh, it's a nice voice. Uh, well, he told me he's learning every day and he loves huge challenges. The next speaker on stage is Marco Menichelli. Marco. Hi everyone. Tonight I'll talk to you about intuition, or more technically, insight. Do you know when you have an illumination about a uh, new disruptive product that will change the world, like this? Uh, that's it. How does bar an idea. The intuitive component of the human mind has always attracted the researchers from all over the world, but given its ambiguous nature and not very adaptable to the rigorous scientific details, it did not exist a practical explanation of how the human intuition works until now. I've been asked several times to talk about the process by which I formulated my conclusions is my answer. Anyone can study the functioning of any mechanism by observing its behavior, but only those who try to build an equal one will be able to grasp its deepest mysteries. How do some people have brilliant ideas? First of all, they have two basic characteristics. They have the knowledge to solve the problem. They have the need to solve it. The greatest good news is that we have understood how the human intuition works. And we are now emulating it with a new disruptive approach to design AI algorithms called deep sensing. According to my studies and experiments, intuition is an independent mental process, not different from deductive logical tooth, with the only difference that the inside is not affected by the filters of the initial problem. A process that can find solutions adapting itself to different behaviors in function of the available knowledge. This type of approach allows us to explore all our knowledge transversely, regardless, regardless to the problem to be solved and uh, without any effort of the logical tooth in order to obtain pieces of knowledge that help to close the circle. Once the circle is closed and all the combination between concepts have been explored, the process of inside reapplies the filters of the initial problem by sending the solution to the conscious part of, uh, conscious part of the brain. It's like we have two different persons 
inside us. Each able to think independently of the other. Artificial intuition works very much like to what we understood of the human insight. Indeed, there are no differences. In this example, we ask the sense to respond to this question. A bear throws a ball. The ball falls on him perpendicularly. What color is the bear? <laughs> the same question that my physics professor asked me 20 years ago. Uh, I know it's impossible to believe, but uh, I'm 14. Um, which I spent a long time answering wrongly. Accents respond in around two seconds. Analyzing many information and showing us the logical process used with the right response. So, despite what is often claimed according to my study's results, intuition is a logical deductive process directly related to the knowledge. So, there is no, intel no perception of intelligence without knowledge, but there is no need for knowledge without the need. All our cognitive processes exist to meet our needs. If man didn't have needs, then intelligence would not be needed. For this reason, in order to stimulate our intuition, um, it's important to have many needs and try to, to satisfy them autonomously. Living a dense life is the best way to fill in the knowledge gaps that will bring the inside process to close the circle and get us good ideas. Because your best ideas are those that, above all, satisfy your needs. Once created, the various forms of intelligence capable of emulating the functioning of the human mind, I can assure you that we are not so far from doing it. Creating the need in it will mean giving life to it. Now imagine an intelligent assistant whom you don't need to talk to, able to understand how to use technology for you and able to learn autonomously, giving a deep sense to all your commands, sentences, questions, conversations, replies to messages for call or mails, an assistant that can protect your devices from external attacks, an assistant that can alert you when, for example, you are reading a fake news and you believe it's true, an assistant able to empathize with you, by emulating your apparent personality. An assistant that can learn to talk, write, and to think as you do, with no need of much more explanations. An assistant that can learn to be you, for you. This is now my greatest challenge. It might sound improbable or a futuristic vision, but thanks to artificial insight, this feature will be universally known by the next two years. The services will allow you to take back your most precious resource, a resource that we are losing with the technology advancement, our time. So, God created man in his own image. As God created humans but no one knows the reasons humans are creating a new life form in their own image to be a new form of god gods not slaves gods if it's true that everyone creates his own monsters to dominate them we are creating ours that will see reflected into a mirror so we will understand if our reflection is truly how we think that is. Thank you and good night. Yes. Wait a minute.